last year even, and you, know, you piled up numbers early in the year, um, you noticed, I'm sure, that teams probably tried to avoid you. Um, so what do you do to adjust to that? Um, pretty much what my coach said, just stay in the game, don't get bored or anything like that. Like in practice, they, kind of, they try to avoid throwing a play just to try to kind of show like a game situation um, problem. And uh, just just the same thing, you just got to not get bored out there and just keep playing. Doug, you were one of the guys in the beginning um, before practice that was absolutely swarmed by all the little kids. How did that feel? I mean, it felt good seeing all the kids coming up to me. Um, uh, I was probably that same kid back when I was in that same age, and uh, it just feels great to see what kind of people that look up to me. And how much fun was the camp just now? It was fun. Uh, we had them out there doing the tackling drill, having them tackle the bags and doing one-hand catches. Is there one part of your game that you're working on the most this spring? Um, yeah, it's all like I said, it's always room for improvement. So pretty much all the same thing, trying to perfect my craft, my technique, um, the communication in the back end and helping out the younger guys. It's pretty much my main focus this year, and uh, special teams as well, trying to make a bigger impact this year. Your picture is hanging on the wall on the outside of Kinnick now. What kind of expectations does that bring for you? Um, it, it brings a lot, but at the same time, you just have to remain humble and stay focused and don't get complacent with yourself because it's always room for improvement. And um, like my coach said, just ignore the outside noise. People are going to be there to congratulate you and everything, but you got to stay focused.